Hi, Maduri here. Today I would like to talk to you about PMS. That's right, premenstrual syndrome. Now ladies, I know that you've probably been taught that this is something that you're just gonna have to suffer, suffer through for your life, and I'm here to tell you that that is not true. From the Ayurvedic perspective, we look at PMS from a very different point of view. We see it as a imbalance in yoni viad, or the female genital tract. And we also distinguish between the vata, pitta, and kapha types of PMS. Now in the following videos, I'm going to share with you exactly that, the signs, symptoms, and treatments for both, for all of vata, pitta, and kapha types of PMS. Today I would like to talk a little bit more about our menstrual cycle and what we can do to bring balance for all of us. The first thing is that our menstrual cycle truly is a time of cleansing, detoxification, and in that we need to rest. We need to stop working so hard, we need to stop an intense exercise program, and we truly need to step back, rest, and retreat into that more feminine, yin, receptive, intuitive, quiet energy within ourselves. It's not a time to be out in the world and pushing and forcing and in that more masculine yang energy. So even if you can't take a day or two off work, then I encourage you to really lighten your workload, whether that's at the office or at home. It is so important with the impact that our signs and symptoms will have in how we take care of ourselves in the days and weeks following up to our menstrual cycle. So if we have a very stressful previous month, uh, maybe we have a breakup or struggles at work or in our relationship, then pretty much guaranteed that that next menstrual cycle will be more intense. Maybe the cramping is more intense or the bloating or the back pain. So I encourage you to track that and begin to see how that may or may not be true for you. The next thing is that we do need to have regular exercise when we're not menstruating. So ensure that you have a program that you're getting out and doing at least half an hour of exercise five times a week. It doesn't need to be anything super intense. Brisk walking is great, swimming, riding a bike, doing something that makes you feel good and keeps the prana, the energy of the body moving. And in saying that, that you are not exercising on your menstrual cycle. This will again disturb the energies and be more counterproductive to having a good menstrual flow without all of those PMS symptoms. And here's the last thing that I'll leave you with today is something that you can do if you do get bloating and cramping in the abdomen. Go to your health food store and buy a castor oil. Bring that home and you can warm up the oil about four tablespoons, putting that on an old face cloth or handkerchief, placing it across the lower abdominal area, and then covering it with a hot water bottle for about half an hour. And this quality of the castor oil is warming and soothing to the cramping. So try that tip out. Stay tuned for the following videos and I'll go through vata, pitta, and kapha, PMS, and how to treat. If you have any other ladies in your life that suffer from PMS and are challenged by this at the moment, please send this video along to them and get them to sign up for my newsletter and they can stay posted with the following videos to come. Thank you so much for tuning in. Namaste.